From this find, it was possible to reproduce this doctor's instrument set, a beautifully handcrafted collection of tools that even a modern surgeon would recognize. Galen was even more particular. He insisted all his tools were made to his exact specification using only a fine type of iron from the Roman town of Noricum, which could be forged into what was effectively the first surgical steel. The British Museum in London contains some of the finest examples of Roman medical instruments. Ralph Jackson, curator of the Roman British collections, is gaining new insights into the sophisticated world of ancient surgery by studying them. The craftsmanship really is unsurpassed until very recent times. The instrument that I'm holding, which is a, a sharp hook, used primarily to hold back the edges of uh, wounds or incisions, has two parts. It has a decorative handle and it has the functional end, which terminates in a very, very sharp, beautifully turned hook, um, which did the work. The Roman instrument maker was really at his best when he was decorating. Not only are these instruments beautifully made, they are unique in another way. For centuries before and after this time, surgeons would use whatever tools were to hand. Only Roman doctors ordered instruments specifically made for surgery. The lines, the black and grey lines, these are very thin bands of silver and silver sulphide inlaid into the golden colour of the instrument. By placing a set of modern tools next to the ancient ones, striking similarities appear. All that really separates these instruments is the materials they are made out of. And, of course, nearly 2,000 years. Roman surgical instruments are stunning. They are really marvellous pieces of craftsmanship. And yet you also know, as you handle them, that they have been inside people's bodies performing operations, operations that are described by Galen and the ancient writers. The instruments themselves could not have been bettered. 